I stood on a stage 18 months ago. I spoke about my green school dream, the little bamboo school in Bali. And I had no idea of the effect of the talk. We have doubled our student population to almost 300. We have kids from 45 countries, from nursery through high school. And next year, we will have our first graduates. We have families uprooting themselves from perfectly civilized lives and moving to Bali. Moving to Bali before they know where it is. Moving to the green school. It's amazing. And it's now more than a school. It's a community. It doesn't end. How do you make a sustainable swimming pool? Of course, you build it out of bamboo. The architects and the engineers didn't get it done. So I called an amazing Balinese artisan and said, can you come back and bring your crew and build the swimming pool because it has to be built. He built it, he filled it with water in the middle of the night, it fell over. He came back the next day, he rebuilt it. It's really strong. And here's a little video of the crew testing it. It's an amazing. <laughs> It's an amazing possibility, the first bamboo flying swimming pool. We have a river running through Green School, and this is the iconic bridge, our first building. So proud. And climate change is upon us. Huge rains came to Bali. They pulled trees out of the side of the river that had been there for 30 years and came down and knocked down the bridge. I got a call in the middle of the night in London, but it was disaster. The bridge is gone. And there it is. It was a horrible moment. You feel like there's no hope. It's almost finished. <laughs> it's back, the bridge. It's higher, above the river. It's better engineered. And the people that built it, you can see them having lunch on the top. There's a dignity of labor in bamboo. These are artisans, highly respected. It's amazing what they can do and how much fun they have doing it. And in the presence of all this organic and all this green, we still have a little problem. I mean, white rice, white bread, factory-made pasta. It's not just a problem in Bali, it's a problem all over the world. Our children are choosing to eat white things. And we have to find a solution. A man came from Java. He brought his Javanese wife and his kids and he said, I want these kids to go to green school. And he brought something with them, a gift to the school. He brought a kind of organic agriculture that uses biochar, and activated minerals, and the vegetables spring out of the ground organically. And note the wrapping. These are going home with kids to their families to be eaten. Bali Organic Greens. An amazing man named Eric Scoto, who has a company called Akua in Paris, said, John, I'll help you take Green School off the grid. We got 110 solar panels. And when we saw them, we were so happy, and then we thought about where to put them. And we couldn't imagine putting them in beautiful green school. So what we did is we built bamboo bases for them, and we arranged them artistically along the contour. They looked like they were scattered by the wind. And how do you get kids to relate to these big blue things? You give them bamboo and let them decorate them, turn them into turtles. We're looking at many things thousands of trips to the local ATM. A bank gave us an ATM. We built a bamboo cover for it. It's powered by solar panels up top. And when, just before they brought the cement truck, we said, just a minute. We'll bolt it to that giant rock there so no one can steal it. It's a startup. It contains 300 kids. And it's really important that those kids get what they need. I love Green School because I can mix my culture with an incredible international education. I want to leave Bali, my island, back to a green future. 
This is how we keep going. Gika is an incredible dancer, a musician, a scholar, and she will be one of our graduates next year. We have another problem. The school is going to go off the grid, but what about the community? And the Balinese have been watching us, building out of bamboo, and they came to Alora, my daughter, and they said, will you please build us a building in a new temple? So she did, and here she is with the community elders, the godfathers, receiving two hats as a thank you for building Bali's first permanent bamboo structure in a temple. Across the river, out of the rice field, came this thing. It's giant. It's bamboo. It's Big Tree Farms organic chocolate factory. It's amazing. Schools everywhere are doing green things. But at Green School, we take it one step farther. These kids are planting rice in their own rice field. They will harvest it and they will eat it. What we teach them is the land is where their food comes from and the earth is where they live. Thank you. Um, 
depending on how much power you want to produce. Uh, the conventional hydropower systems are built with pipes creating pressure down the bottom and then heating a turbine at very high speed and high pressure and actually killing off the water and, and, and anything that's in it, all fish and all life will die. Um, this will actually aerate the water and revitalize the river. I love Green School because I can mix my culture with an incredible international education. I want to lead Bali, my island, back to a yes. green future.